You're locked in to Fran Harris's Women's Basketball TV with WNBA champion, NCAA champion, sports announcer, and entrepreneur, Fran Harris. Asia Wilson is still the best basketball player in the WNBA. It's official. Some of y'all were calling for Chrissy Side's job. Now look at Indiana and Caitlin Clark. What y'all got to say about that? Serving up the best in women's hoops news in T. I'm not calling Angel Reese Bayou Barbie anymore. She is rebounding Barbie. Come on, girl. No cap. So buckle up, Buttercup. Here's the show. All right, let's hop into the comeback week of the WNBA after the Olympic break. And we're going to start with the game that I actually called on Friday in Dallas. Well, actually in Arlington, which is where they play until they move to Dallas in a couple of years. But with the Dallas Wings versus the Connecticut Sun, 109 to 91. Yes, lots of buckets in this game. And it makes me wonder, was anybody playing defense? Or have we gotten to the point where we just are high-flying, high-scoring we're just a high-scoring league. But 109-91 to 91 says to me that it was it was like an all-star game. Either way, real fun, real exciting, I'm sure, for Connecticut, for the Dallas Wings. Not so much. If y'all tuned into that game, you know that it started out like it was going to be a great game. Dallas was leading by 8-0, and then Connecticut came back, and it was kind of tight, and then Connecticut pulled away three or four points, and then another eight or ten points. And then it just got, it just ballooned from there. But let's talk about the great performance that I felt Connecticut, the Connecticut Sun had against Dallas. And it's got, going to always start with Alyssa Thomas, Deanna Bonner, Bree, uh, Brianna Jones. I mean, a really solid effort. And I left that game going, Connecticut is just good. And actually, I said that in the game. If you watch the game, I was extremely complimentary of Connecticut because they are a unicorn. There is no team in the WNBA like Connecticut. So I want to start by giving flowers before I start talking about what was wrong with the game and what people didn't do. I want to, I, I'm want i just amazed at what Connecticut is putting together based on their identity. And you get the sense, and there are people around the league that you will talk to, and maybe you guys are talking amongst fans about this as well, that Connecticut is is trying to make – Okay, I hate the word trying. Connecticut is making a run for a, for a ship before they maybe blow up the roster. So nobody told me that. Don't say I said that anybody told me that. I'm just telling you what it looks like to me. It looks like Connecticut may be making some changes in the next one to three years that are going to significantly make the team look different. And they know what they have. You've got a mid-30s in Dewana Bonner, same thing with Alyssa Thomas. So when you start, your superstars start to get to that age, then, which by the way, is extremely young. Don't get it, you know, twisted. It's extremely young in the world of just walking around in the world of basketball. It's going to be some of your best basketball for the next three to four years, depending on any injuries that you might have had or anything like that. So those mid-30s are crucial years. Players either get, they start to have these amazing seasons, a window, three to four or five, maybe depending, nothing, it's all individual, or they start to decline. But in most GM's minds, when you when you're the, your age, the average age of your team starts to get in the 30s, and this is for any team, not, not even necessarily for Connecticut, then you, you have to be sure that your plan for renewal has already been in effect, right? You can't wait till your stars get 32, 34 before you start going, oh, snap, we got to go, we got to do something, we got to get some young players. No, that plan is already in place. But I do get the feeling that Connecticut, when you look at their squad, they are trying to make some key changes so that they can keep a nice blend of youth and a nice blend of experience and, and veterans on the team. And so I feel that Connecticut is likely going to be making some changes. I haven't pulled up for this particular video because we're just doing a recap of games. Contracts and when people are, you know, their, their contracts are up and all that good stuff, that'll be a different video. But for now, these players on the Connecticut team are balling out. They are playing extremely well. And as I said in the game in the broadcast on Ion Friday, Nobody cares on Connecticut's team about who's the high scorer. Nobody cares who gets the most reap. Nobody cares about any of that. You can tell. And that's their secret sauce. 
Yes, they have great players. Yes, they play hard. Yes, they are unconventional in the talent that they recruit and, and sign to their team. But they are 100% a unicorn. Nobody like them in the league. And they are going to make some noise. And I believe that Connecticut will certainly be in the four. They've just, they're just a team of construction workers. You know, they're a team that early in the morning, rising, staying late, Working hard through working through the break, they're they're hard hat. They are they're a lunch pail mentality team, and those teams are already already uh, difficult to beat. But then you add a player like Marina Mabry. You add a player like that who can flat out shoot the lights out. Comes in last night or or night before last, and seventeen points. Uh, I mean, come on, four rebounds three assists in 30 minutes. She was a missing link because one of the things that Connecticut in my mind has never really had in recent memory is a lights out shooter. And Mabry did that. And of course, Alyssa Thomas did what Alyssa Thomas always does. She almost had a triple double, messed around and almost had a triple double, 12 points, 14 assists, 14 assists. Alyssa Thomas is the playmaker. Usually people talk about the point guards being the playmaker. Alyssa Thomas is the playmaker for Connecticut. 14 assists and 8 rebounds and 31 minutes. Dewana Bonner, 29 points. You know, like I said, lots of buckets the other night. Not a whole, whole lot of defense. But it was fun, especially for the Connecticut Sun. The Dallas Wings, on the other hand, has to figure out some stuff. Didn't have any didn't have any issues scoring points. Got 91 points. Again, if you're not going to play defense on either side, it, it's going to be a high-scoring affair. But the Dallas Wings, they have to figure out two important spots. Number one, point guard. This is not rocket science. Everybody who's watching knows that that point guard position is a critical position. And the Dallas Wings have not figured out what they're going to do there yet. They want to play Sev. Uzun there, or or the the player from Ohio, the Ohio State, uh, J.C. Sheldon, and they they had Odyssey Sims there. We talked about this. this is why we were all lamenting that Odyssey was going to her loss was going to be huge for Dallas, but because of the hardship rule, they had to let her go. But what they have there right now, unless they mature and truly step into their greatness, is not enough. It's not going to work. It's not working. And here's the thing, it is very difficult to bring in an international point guard and expect them to lead the team. It is a rarity that that happens. Okay, so emotionally, spiritually, you know, that that doesn't usually come from an international player. It doesn't. So you always have to have a compliment on the team of a very vocal, very uh, big presence of a leader on a team if you're going if your point guard is going to be an international player who typically you know you're and your point guard is usually that person directing traffic telling people what to do here's where you need to be inspiring okay that is not happening in dallas that's not shade to the post to the to sev that's not who she is and that's not who she can be with the dallas wings she doesn't have the confidence or the experience to do that with the dallas wings she may do that on her turkish national team she may do it on her turkish team that she plays but she is not going to be able to do that, at least not right now, on the Dallas Wings team. So someone has to step up in Dallas. Someone has to be a big presence, and not just a big presence on game nights, a big presence in practice, game days, also in the weight room, in the training, in the rehab, in the in the off court behavior. You, you can't you can't demand my my respect on the floor. If you are not commanding my respect, and this is me speaking as a player off the floor, you can't tell me to be disciplined in practice and you are, you know, doing all manner of things after we leave practice. You're not a good person. You're not a, right? This is not about the Dallas Wings. This is about anybody, any team. It doesn't work. Been around the game a long time. It doesn't work. You got to be a leader on the court and off the court if you want my respect. And most players are like that. So Dallas is missing a crucial piece to turn this thing around in this season. Missing a crucial piece. Point guard, 
you know, listen, you, the, the people who play in that position, you have absolutely nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. Your team is at the bottom of the heap. Just play. And that's all I got to say about the Dallas Wings. Great game, great fun game to watch if you like seeing a lot of buckets. But uh, I would love to see all teams kind of fighting, vying for those for those spots heading into the playoffs. We, we realize that there is going to be, you know, four to six of them who are vying for that, that top four spot. But the rest of them, the other eight, I want to see it mixing up. I want to see people join, and I want to see people fi fighting for their lives for those last positions to get into the playoffs. So that is my take on the Connecticut Dallas Wings game. What was yours? What did you think? What did you see? What did you did you hang in there until the end? What were your thoughts on the Wings versus Sun on Friday? That's all for now. Before you bounce, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and check out the merch. Ooh.